Big K. I watched part one. It all made sense. But my shamisen is still going out of tune. Why is that? Excellent question, Veronica. So you've seen part one of this topic, understand the nature of these elastic-like strings, but still have problems keeping your shamisen in tune. The issue might actually be the way your itamaki are set up. So let's do some troubleshooting now. First, your itamaki might not be pushed all the way in. Traditional itamaki are held in with friction alone, so they need to fit tight in order to stay locked in. If they aren't pushed in enough, two things can happen. First, the itamaki can fully slip out of the hole and the string will loosen completely, or if it's only partially locked in, it won't be able to hold higher tensions, and so the peg will quietly turn until it reaches a tension it can hold. Now the latter is more difficult to notice because it's rather quiet, and it can give the impression that the shamisen is spontaneously going out of tune. To prevent this, grip the itamaki while anchoring your thumb inside the itogura, the peg box. Then, as you turn, use your anchored thumb to push the itamaki inwards into the hole, like so. The simultaneous twisting and pushing motions is key to locking the itamaki in. Doing these two motions separately won't work. Now, if your shamisen is still going out of tune, there are two other reasons why the itamaki might be slipping. Perhaps the string is pressing against the edge of the itogura, the peg box. Now, this is most common with the ichinoito, but theoretically it can happen to all three strings. For the ichinoito, the thick coils are gripping the itamaki peg, and if those coils are jammed against this edge of the itogura, the peg box, that will prevent the itamaki from twisting deeper into the hole. It'll only be partially locked in. And if they're jammed up, even if you try twisting it, it'll just prevent the itamaki from going further. So the way to prevent this is to make sure there's a little bit of space in between the string and the wood here. It doesn't have to be much at all. Even just a sliver of light between the two is enough. However, if you see the string is fully pressed against the wood, that's most likely the reason why the itamaki are slipping. Still slipping? It could be because the itamaki is worn. When properly shaped, the itamaki will have an even contact with the zagane, so they fit tight, turn smooth, and rarely slip. However, over years of use, the wood of the peg will naturally wear down, and the peg will no longer have even contact with the zagane. By looking at the worn itamaki peg, you can see uneven shiny spots. The shiny spots are the only points of contact with the zagane. Having only a few spots of contact makes it easy for the itamaki to slip. The fix for this is to carefully sand those shiny spots until the itamaki can slide in just a little deeper into the hole and will get more even contact. I have a video dedicated to fixing worn itamaki, so please, Check out that video in the link below. Lastly, if your itamaki are still slipping, there might be oil in the zagane. This is the least common reason, but it might be a factor. Sometimes oil from your fingers can enter the zagane. Often it'll be perhaps it, you take the itamaki out and then you touch the peg. The little bit of finger oils can lightly lubricate the peg. So as it goes in, that'll prevent the itamaki from holding at higher tensions. The professional fix is super easy. All you have to do is get some 1200 grit sandpaper, coil it up, put it inside the zagane hole, grip both ends, and just wipe around a few times. You can even wrap it around a pencil to help you grip it, and then turn it around the hole a few times. This will clean off the oil and make your itamaki fit tight again. This too goes back to that uh, confused person I saw on the internet who advised his audience, don't put your thumb inside the itogura because if your finger oil gets in the zagane, you will ruin your shamisen. Reasonable guess, but there's few ways you can truly ruin your shamisen, and this isn't one of them. Just get 1200 grit sandpaper, give the inside of the zagane a quick wipe, and it will be good as new. And that's about it. When you've ensured that your itamaki fit tightly, the only factor left is the basic physics of the elastic-like strings. By understanding that, the mystery and fear around tuning will vanish. You'll be able to confidently manage tuning, understand why it changes, and well, 
Make Shamisen your bitch, as the kids say. I'm Kyle Abbott.